Sickle cell disease is a genetic, it's an inherited disorder. Um, it's caused by a mutation in the gene that encodes our hemoglobin. Mayo Clinic's Dr. Esma Ferjala says the normally flexible red blood cells turn into rigid crescent shapes, sickle cells, that get stuck in blood vessels, and that can cause problems down the line. Fortunately, in the United States, every baby as part of their newborn screen is actually screened for sickle cell disease. Babies may not show symptoms until five or six months with pain or swelling in the fingertips and then later in life. So it's pain in the extremities and the back. Um, it's all caused from those sickle cells being stuck in the blood vessels. Along with pain, the risks for heart and kidney damage and stroke are increased. Some of our patients actually experience stroke or what we call silent strokes from the sickle cells actually getting stuck and creating a blockage in the cerebral vessels. She says that's why it's important to work with patients early on and regularly. The earlier you go to curative therapy, the better. For the Mayo Clinic News Network, I'm Jason Howland.